Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, let me scooch back a little bit. And I have a haul for you and then we're gonna style my living room or I'll show you what I'm doing with all the stuff because I have a whole process of styling. But I went out this morning to do a little shopping um, and I kinda hit the jackpot of the things I've been looking for. Ugh, it is allergies, it's been raining like crazy here in Ohio. But first, in my Meowgical mug with the black cat, and it says Meowgical on the inside, mm. I have a vanilla nut coffee this morning. Okay, so I had decided, um, I was perusing Pinterest, and I'm like, oh, I want to do a winter mantle and kind of set up my, my main living area, living room, kitchen, dining room, with white, gold, and green. I don't know, you can tell my mantle's burgundy, my furniture's brown. I don't care. White, white, gold, and green are going to be my accent colors right now. So, um, I got up this morning and I said to myself, self, talking to myself, you got to put Christmas away and then you can go shopping and see what kind of deals you can find at the after Christmas sales. I like to wait till the crowds kind of die down and it's a Monday right now and I'm off. So I got up and I took Christmas down and put it all away, but I left out things that I would say went with my color scheme and I'm kind of reshifting my Christmas decor as well. So I did some purging and then I wanted to go to Ikea. Um, no, that's my coffee, buddy. <laughs> oh, Debbie wanted my coffee. Debbie want my coffee, buddy? He also needs to have his nails clipped, which I need to do that today. Can you not do that, please? Thank you. This morning, he and he wasn't being mean or anything. He just came up to get some love, and he scratched my lip by mistake. But he needs his nails trimmed. Digressing here, big time, guys. I put Christmas away. And then I, I was like, okay, you need to run to Target and see what they have. I'm actually looking for the ladder. If you've seen any Target um, shop with me, there's a, la a ladder. They're $7 for your like mantle or table or something. And I want it, but I didn't see it. But anyway, I found some clearance stuff. And then I ran to Ikea because I needed a new duvet cover. I'm upgrading my bed at home. On oh, my bed at home. I am at home, Lori. My bed is a queen. But I really want a king bed spread just so it hangs over. My bed frame is pretty chunky. I'll show you. But anyway, so first I went to Target just to see what they had. And I was super excited. Um, besides the fact that they did not have my ladder. I went back towards the clearance section. And they, my store today was up to 70% off. So I was super excited about that. Um, I found these curtains in white and gold. Um... They were regularly $24.99. They were on clearance for $7.88, and it's two, and they're full length $84 in the cream and white, cream and gold. And the gold design, I believe, is like circles. It'll be fine. It's a little more modern, but I think with my, obviously my mantle is not modern in other furniture, so I think that'll kind of tone it down. But 84 inch, and these are like canvas. They're called light filtering. Curtains, filter sunlight to allow natural room light and offers moderate privacy. Perfect. For my front window. I was like, yay, these are the colors I want. Then I went back further into the holiday section and found these placemats in like a creamish white and gold. I'm not sure if you're going to see the gold. It's pretty tame, but it's a little sparkle too. These were regularly uh, $4.99 and I got them for $1.50. And they had two left and that's how many I will need if I choose to go this route I have some other ones as well but I will use these somewhere I just don't know where and then I went around and with the um Christmas linens and stuff a table scarf so my this was regularly $17.99 I got it for five dollars and 36 cents my um, dining room table, and I'll show you in the tour, it's an old farm table that my sister-in-law gave me, and it's not a standard or traditional. It's a handmade 100-year-old table. So these square um, squares tend to do better than actual tablecloths. Table runners don't really work well on it, uh, but this will work perfect. And it even has little tassels, and it's cream with the gold accent. And this was 19 
seven, oh, I said $17.99. I got it for $5.36. And then to kind of tie everything together and bring it a little more back to my country farming, I bought this white pitcher to put some greenery in. And it was regularly $19.99. It is food safe, too. I'm not eating out of it, but it is food safe. And I got this for $6. And it's white ish it's whitish it's a glaze over pottery but it'll look pretty on my dining room table with some greenery in it so i got that i think i spent more on my sudafed than i did on the household <laughs> not really but my total for all the linens that i need the tape with curtains tablecloth two placemats and that pitcher was 23 dollars at target so i think i did a really good job there then I went, for the whole reason, I went to Ikea. Now, my bedroom is upstairs, and I'm kind of going with a bohemian-type feel in there, and you'll see when I do the tour. But my whole wall is covered in, like, wicker circles. And I've been eyeing this for some time, and it was the last one, so I'm glad I went and got it. It's burgundy and gray. It's a duvet to go over the blanket I already have, and it comes with... Two pillow shams and the duvet cover. And it was on sale for $49, which if you've ever bought a duvet, that's a really good price for a king. And I'm loving this print. I don't think it's particularly winter. It might be springish, but spring will be here soon. And I really like this and I wanted it. And this fabric in particular, when I buy these at Ikea, are really good with the cat and the fur. It wipes off pretty easy and I can lint roll. Um, that's kind of a problem I have with two black cats. Cat fur. So I grabbed that. And then I picked up two of these pillows. I'll take it out of the packaging. Um, if you've never been to an Ikea and you have one near you, I love it. I have couch pillows, but I bought the ones that have the fiber fill in them. And I don't love them. They, they squish real quick. And they don't hold their shape. Every, a lot of the stuff there is air set, is vacuum sealed, so it does, you know packs up. But these were for this pillow, and these are standard six by uh, twenty inch by twenty inch. These are um, six dollars right now for the fill. And I will tell you, if you have like storage situation, like I don't want to store a bunch of pillows. I get these and then I would throw away the old ones because they're all flat or I could double them up into one till I get two more but these look how plump this gets and this is duck feather in here um six dollars and then you buy shams for them and you can order them on Amazon pretty cheap a sham you know you zip them in I make my own fairly regularly but this trip I bought two to replace two on my couch and then I pick up these. Now, I know this is more of a mustard, but I think it's going to go okay. And this was $3.99 for a plane. They go up to, I think, $14.99. They had, like, some velvet ones, which would be nice. But the problem with, like, velour or velvet in cats is it will attract. These don't do too bad of a job with the fur. That's my life, guys. Um, so I grabbed two of these, and I know somewhere in this house I have two white ones. If not, I have black that I can use. So I grabbed two of those, and two. look how big this is already. These are nice pillows, and they hold their shape really well. Um, they are machine washable. So first time around, $10 for a couch pillow still is not bad, even if I bought new filling every time, which I wouldn't. Um, and then I found this is actually a rug. It's cream colored, uh, $3.99, but it's going to go on my coffee table. And it's nice and thick, but it's not, I mean, I don't, I think it will be slippery as an actual rug. But um, I'm gonna use this as a coffee table cover. You'll see. I've got a vision, guys, I've got the vision. But I do need to let the wrinkles hang out. Apparently, this is a workout. My watch is detecting a workout, probably from flinging my arms around. I picked, oh, and that was $3.99. These were $1.99. I just grabbed two. I have two gold candle holders. And so I bought, I'm burning candles behind me. I'm like, am I catching on fire? No, I am not. Um, just two white cream colored candles. 
I have gold candlesticks that I got at the Dollar Tree and I painted them gold. And then the last thing, and this, so this is for my bedroom, and this was $50 on sale. I think I said that. But for my bathroom, um, I needed a new mat to go in front of my sink, and I got it in gray to match that. Um, but this is a heathered gray, and it's microfiber, and it's super soft. And it was $8. So I spent $92.30 at Ikea, which if you've ever been to an Ikea, that's like <laughs> amazing in and of itself. Um, yeah, and then I spent $23 at Target, and I'm going to freshen up my bedroom, the living room, and the dining room. And now I have um, also, as I said, when I was putting things away, I kept out some greenery and things that I thought would match. And I also went through my craft room and grabbed a couple things that I've already purchased. And I will show you what this is all gonna look like once I put it together. So I hope you enjoy. Hi everybody, welcome to my winter home. I've taken all of Christmas down in the downstairs for right now. And I've set it up for winter. I'm so excited and I'll take you on a little tour and I'll show you the bargains I got and how I styled them. Okay, first things first, that's Henry. He is a Highland Q, they call them in Scotland, a Highland cow. Um, I got the frame for $2.68 at Goodwill and I printed off this black and white picture that I bought for $2 on Etsy and it was $1.78. It's called an architect's drawing from Staples. I love him. Um, that's my front door. You have seen my Patriots pillow that has to stay out, even though, you know, we may not be doing so great right now. And it just accent chair, my cough or end table. And these are the, you're not gonna be able to see it too well, but the gold and cream placemats that I got at Target for $1.50. A gift that hasn't been given yet. Um, this is my bay window. The boys absolutely love it. Hence, the curtains have to stay open or they will shed all over them. But these on um, the inside are shears I've had. On the outside, those are the $7 curtains I got from Target. Let's see if we can get a better view. I love them, guys. I'm really loving this white and gold. Just something different in my house. Uh, the bay window, that's my grandma's cat. And that's a blanket that I put there. So if the boys want to lay in the window and it's cold. If not, it's my lap blanket. Um, I've had a lot of questions about this coffee table. From what I know, my great grandfather built it. So I've been told it's a cedar chest. Or maybe they bought it. I'm not really sure. Um, on the coffee table, that gold tray I purchased on um, Christmas clearance years ago at Target. The, um, that's a rug from Ikea. It was $3.99. This vase right here is from the Dollar Tree and I just painted it with some chalk paint and some gold paint. These are just some ornaments and a candle from Bath and Body. My, two of my books I like to read, The Black Cat is Wellington. Um, those are the pillows I purchased at Ikea for the covers were $3.99. The pillow inserts were six and those are duck feather. Um, I've had these tobacco baskets on my wall. I'm thinking of what else I could hang up there. Um, I'm thinking a large print of some sort. That is the cat bed. <laughs> I just washed their blanket that's in there. Wellington loves his bed. My fireplace, I purchased some wood today. Um, I just got it at Kroger. Uh, my mantle, I love my mantle. The black houses in the back were from last year from Target. This candlestick was something I purchased at Goodwill and spray painted. The gold ones are from the Dollar Tree. They were white, I painted those. All this greenery was bought on clearance or on super sale. Those vases, this tall one oh, right here, this tall one was Dollar Tree as well as the basket weavy looking one. Right here's Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. This was clearance at Target and I painted them and then I sealed them. And all my S's and the little sign says let it snow and that's the Queen of England and she's always on my mantle. I love her. That's a Funko Pop I got for Christmas last year. I purchased this today 
and it says this is my happy place i got it at hobby lobby for 20 uh 50 off so it's like 21 dollars, and i think it perf it's perfect just a lap blanket i'm having some coffee moisturizer because you know everybody's dry this time of year and another one of those placemats um just some family photos that's my mama she passed away in 2017 and that's her funeral candle right there and just some family things um the cat's scratching pad the cats they take up a lot of space in this house that's their toys and my ukulele i've cleaned out a lot of this toy some of that's luna dogs too um this is just an old secretary table that my sister-in-law gave me and the cat bowls on it just some more stuff that i paired together um that frame was from hobby lobby a few years ago and this gold s was from michael's a few years ago and we're making our way through the dining room this is my dining area um back here these are all my plants they go in the bay window except for that tree when summer comes now uh, the bathroom i really haven't done much to you. bathroom uh, my table this is the scarf i should turn the light on this is the scarf I bought for $5. It, see how it fits? My table is old. It's old wood. I'll show you. Look at the nail heads if I can find one. Yeah, they're those old-fashioned handmade nail heads. And that's the picture I bought. I've had that polar bear. And these, are, again, are all clearance greens. I just mixed a bunch of greens together because I just love it. And here's all my plant life back here. It's, this is the window that gets the most sun in the wintertime. And I rotate them all around. Up here, all those gnomes. Here, I'll get a better view, sorry. All those gnomes I made, I put them on a tree. Sure did. I just think they're adorable. Um, that's a picture of my siblings and Sarah back there. So that's my brother, Mike. My brother, Jay. Ooh, Jay. Sarah and me last year and then I just laid out some greenery I have a Bath and Body Works candle and just some other white accents and then this is just the other angle of my kitchen just a bunch of stuff cookbooks and kitschy stuff things you know and then my kitchen area my um what is that apron? Lori, come on girl, get it together. Um, I'm gonna go back to black, white, and yellow in my kitchen, although I left a few red things just because of the season. I did some baking, so that's still out, but here is my coffee station tea kettle, and here is just coffees and sugars, and then my Keurig. And I made those curtains last year. And then the sign in the window I got at Target last year, and it says white winter days that melt into spring. I just thought that was appropriate. I made some keto toaster, like English muffin things to try. Um, and my stove is over here. And I bought this today for $2.50 at Hobby Lobby. It says life is short, like the bowl, but it matches. And these towels on either side from the doll, I made them from the Dollar Tree. I have a video about how I do that. That was a gift from a subscriber. Thank you so much. I love it. Even though I'm kind of mad at football right now. Um, this I made last year and I just have put left it out for this season. It was for Christmas, but I think it fits. And then these are my eat signs with that weird telephone thing I need to figure out what to do with that I got at Target. So guys, that's it. That is my main floor that I reset and freshened up for winter time. And next up should be my bedroom. Alrighty guys, we're going into my bedroom. I also did a little refresh in here, a dresser, my carpet this is oh come in the room this is my tv 
my shoe storage and scarves. I've got a lot of shoes, guys, and apparently black guy pom-poms. That's where I keep all my shoes lined up. And my other dresser. I have gray curtains, and then that's a boxwood wreath. And then over here it says, don't limit your challenges, challenge your limits. And another window. This room is a 10 by 15, which is nice, but it kind of is limited on how I can set it up. All right, over here I have a nightstand with a candle and just stuff I use at night. Lotions and potions and nail stuff. And then my wall, which I forgot to take down the reindeer in the mirror. Hi. <laughs> that mirror was my grandparents. I love it. And then this is my new bed set that I bought from Ikea. Let me see. I'll get you a close-up of that. Um, I do have a sleigh bed. And that's knitting in the bag on there. I just haven't put that away. But this is the pattern I bought. So it's burgundy and gray. And I love it. It's king size. So what I don't love are the pillow shams. They're king size. I don't have king size pillows. I don't like king size pillows, but I'll make it work. And then my other night table with just stuff on it. Um, this wall over here is a macrame that I made. It's not really macrame. It's just hanging string, but ooh, let's get you a better picture. And it is cream gray and then a little purple and there's a touch of teal in it over there and I have really high ceilings in here I think they're like 18 feet but they're vaulted so I needed something pretty big on that wall and then carpet again and then this is my bathroom area oh that's a, a mess out there we won't look at that um but right here is a picture I took let me see if I can turn the light on and show you there we go this is a picture I took uh, years ago, and I have it framed. It's so beautiful. And then just necklaces hanging on there. So back to the bathroom. Um, this is my icky floor. I need to have this replaced. We've done downstairs, and now I need to work on up here. But that's the gray bathroom I got at Ikea for like $7.99. That's a linen closet. That's a command hook that I use to hold a towel. And then my vanity, that used to be oak and I painted it, oh, it's dusty. I painted it dark brown and then just makeup and my Buckeyes drink cup for when I brush my teeth. And I have a big mirror. Those lights are getting replaced soon. So my vanity area is in here. And then the bathroom yeah, there's a toilet, guys. The shower and the toilet are in this room. And that's just a shelf I hung with my sheets folded up on it. A little on the back of the toilet seat holds like towels and stuff. I don't have any ha towels hanging. They're all in the laundry. And then this is the shower curtain. And it is also like burgundies and grays. And I think it's not the same pattern, but it definitely coordinates with my bedroom <gasps> and there's Dubby. Hi baby, what you want? What? Wow. Yes, he wants treats. Well everybody, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my first of the year home tour. I hope you have a very happy new year and I'm very excited of what is to come. So have a good one, bye.